is Terry, and today we're going to be replacing the battery on a 2018 Chevrolet Bolt. So we've got 10 bolts, five on either side that hold the battery pack up. And our electrical connections on front are big high voltage cables. And then our hoses for coolant. So this is our new battery. Um, they come just like this uh, off the truck. The battery itself weighs 800 pounds, so with the box you're looking at about 1,000. And cover comes off, battery comes up, the old battery goes back for a core, and new battery goes in the car. Okay, so uh, batteries come like this. Um, they come preloaded with software. Uh, it's actually a living battery, so it's constantly uh, balancing cell voltages through all its 96 different cells. And uh, when we put it in the vehicle, we, uh, we program it then just to learn the VIN and, and learn that this battery belongs to that vehicle. But other than that, these things are going all the time. So while they are safe to work on like this, once they go in the vehicle and we re-enable the high voltage, yeah, it's full battery voltage to the vehicle. So the, so the bulk of this job is, is a lot of setup, um, getting your area nice and clean to have the room to work, um, getting the new battery ready to come up and on the table, getting the old battery ready to go back for core. So it's a lot of setting hooks on, you know, setting straps, um, just being careful when you're moving it because it is 800 pounds. Um, but yeah, the, the, getting the battery down and up is, is the easy part. It's the, it's the setup and moving around that, that takes the most time. Full job takes five hours, start to finish. just so it doesn't make a mess in the box. As you can see, the uh, removal installation is, is a joke. It's no big deal at all. It's, it's moving the old battery and the new battery. The logistics of getting around everything in the shop, uh, switching over all the tools, uh, getting someone to help you with the loader. Um, that's the big part. That's what eats up the most time is moving stuff around, getting stuff where it should be, and doing it all safely is the, is the key thing. So our battery is uh, is in our box ready to go back for core. Uh, we ship it back in a big plastic bag with an absorbent mat on the bottom and on top. Uh, just in case the battery gets damaged in transit, uh, it is still full of uh, electrolyte like a normal battery. Um, but that's it, we got a few more stuff to do. Just put the absorbent mat back on top, close up our bag, 
put our lid on and it goes back on the truck, uh, back to the factory. So now we're at the point where the new battery is going to go back up into the vehicle. Um, after that, it's pretty much everything in reverse. Uh, we're going to fill up the battery with coolant, uh, flush all the air out. Uh, we will program the new battery so it learns this vehicle, and then we should be good to go. Battery is up. Uh, we got to connect our high voltage cables and our, our other connectors we have, and our coolant has to be reconnected as well. So, after we fill this up with coolant, um, that's pretty much it. We should be good to go. Um, and after it leaves here, it won't need any other maintenance. Uh, besides regularly scheduled, it still has like a cabin filter, brakes, like none of that changes, but uh, you won't need to change any fluids, uh, no engine oil of course, um, and that's it.